FuelPulse is powerful software to streamline and organize your electrical business. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up a new job, add a customer into the system, create an invoice to bill for the job, and then add your team members. We're starting on the team schedule page, where at a glance you can see all of the jobs you have lined up for today. To add a new job, click the green plus sign. We'll start by adding the customer. Click in this field. In this case, we're going to set up a new customer by clicking Create New Customer. To create a new customer, we'll start by setting their account status. This is a current customer, so we'll leave that as is. We can then set their account type as individual or company. This is an individual. Next, we'll enter their details. Then we'll scroll down and enter their address. You can use a different billing address if you like, and add any notes about the customer. You can also add job notes which are automatically inserted into new jobs, or tag the customer to keep your customers organized. When you're ready, click Save. You've created a new customer. Now we'll set up the job. We'll enter the job title, and we'll choose a date for the job. We're going to set this job for today, but move it to the afternoon. Next we'll assign team members to this job. We'll click on Select Team Members, and then click on one of our teams. I can assign Devin and Jason to this job. Then click Apply. Next we're going to add any notes to the job and then click Save. We've just created a new job for our new customer Curtis Dodson. We see the time here and the team members it's assigned to as well as the address. Once this job has been started we're going to move the job status to In Progress. Next you may want to create an estimate for this customer. We'll do this by clicking on Estimates and Invoices. On this page we'll click Create New. When creating a new estimate, you'll see that the open date is populated as well as the customer and the parent job record. We'll click on Estimate. We can set a date if we want to and add any notes. Next we're going to add invoice items. We'll click Add Line Item. Then we'll select an invoice item. For this service call, we'll simply add a service call fee. Once we've added one service call fee, we'll click Save. We've created a simple estimate for one service call. Then we'll click Save. Now that we've created an estimate for this job, we have to share it with our customer. To do this, we'll click on Generate PDF. We've just created a PDF estimate that we can share with our customer. To send it to them, simply click Email to Customer to send it directly to the customer through FieldPulse. We can also click Save to download it to our computer so we can share it through our own email client or print it to share with them in person. When we're done, we can go back to the estimate record. Now let's assume that we've issued the estimate and the customer is ready to move ahead. The next step is to convert your estimate to an invoice. Do this by clicking Convert to Invoice. You'll then click Prepare Invoice. Now that we have an invoice created, we can do the same thing and share the PDF with the customer through email or print it off. Once the customer has received the invoice and made payment, you can record the payment by clicking Mark Payment. We'll simply enter the payment method, the payment amount, and click Save. We've now marked this invoice as paid. To finish the job, we'll go back to the job record, click on Info, and then we'll move the job status to completed. You've now set up a new job, created a new customer, set up an estimate for that customer, converted that estimate to an invoice, and marked that invoice as paid. Next, I'm going to show you how to get your whole team on Field Pulse. To do this, we'll click on Team Members, and then click the green plus button. First we'll enter the basic information for this team member and set a password for them, or leave it blank so they can do it themselves. We'll leave the password blank so they can create their own password when they get the welcome email. We can add any notes about this team member, and then we'll set up their roles and team assignment. We're going to create this team member as a service agent. We can also assign them to different teams. We're going to assign this team member simply to Team A. Then click Save. We've just created a new team member. Thanks for watching. You're now ready to start running your electrical business with Field Pulse.